So for today's work on structures, this is what I want to do. I want to start practicing making your own kind of fantastic built structures, okay? And so let's say we're going to do a little, and I'm going to start like this. I want to start with a gesture, okay? And then I'm going to start to build cubes like this. Okay, so this is a nice little, and now what I want to do is I want to take this and I want to turn it into a kind of strange, like, do you, you remember the Weasley's house in Harry Potter? So I want to take this and I want to start to turn it into a kind of a house-like structure. And the other thing is, I, so I want to take the masses, like, so this is composed of And I want the masses to work together in a way that's really interesting. And one of the, so a design concept that I'm going to ask you guys to work with here is I want you to work with the design concept of big, medium, and small. So I want for their, notice how all of the shapes in this are tending towards about the same scale. And I want that to, I want that to move around. I want, I want for some to be really big and I want for some to be medium and I want for some to be small. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to try to design this more handsomely. So I'm gonna take the top structure and I'm gonna make it big. Okay, and that feels substantially big. And I'm gonna add, I wanna make this structure here and I wanna look to see that my cubes are good, okay? So here's an X, there's an X, there's an X, here's a Y, there's the Y. This is looking a little bit out of perspective there. Um, I'm gonna clean it just a touch and bring it around. Okay, gonna, again, wants to be parallel, wants to be parallel. This here, as I double check it, when I, I'm extending it through so that I can double check it because that felt out to me. And now I've corrected it. So that's really nice. Okay. Okay. That is big enough. Let's see. And this one now feels uh, remove some of my invisibles there. And I've got other issues on this one that I'd like to try to deal with.
Now that could be my small. Okay, so now I've got big, medium, small. Let's see, I don't know how this one fits into my life yet. Got to work some stuff out here. And all I'm doing right now is I'm just designing this box, this, this pile of volumes so that they look interesting to me. And I want to do this. I want to cut that one inward. All right. And now this is always fun, like with a, this is always the, like the fun part is if I go in and I do this and make a little, like a little doorway here. little window little window and then I want to take this side I'm gonna make a porch over here figure they put a little awning there and I'm gonna add one of these here It's just a little shape. Okay, and now I'm kind of like houseifying. And these all want to be in perspective. 
And what would this be here? I don't even know. I want to put a little arched window. And uh, and I think I'm going to put over on this side. What could I have over here? I think I'm going to put a little balcony. I'm going to straighten the balcony. but have a crooked door. Do we see the top of that or the bottom of that balcony? I think that we see a little bit of the top of the balcony. That looks terrible. Bad idea. Crooked window. French window. Crooked French window. Maybe I'll extend this window. Put a little like cap on that window and a little base okay I think I'll put an outdoor staircase here. Maybe a ladder going up. So I'm gonna put a little doorway here. Going up to a doorway here. And I think I'll put siding on this one. And then if you feel like it, you can pick a light direction and shade. If the light is up high here. It can help clarify some of what you have.
How are we enforcing the silhouette for the sketch for the purpose of having the sketch read more clearly? Very much like with our gestures. Okay, here's the things that this sketch has that I want for your sketch to have. Okay, so we have structure. Okay, we have volume. And what I've done with a lot of these things, like these windows, is I've implied... I've implied transverse, sagittal, and coronal planes, right? Okay. We have light direction. And we have we have a reinforced silhouette. Okay. And our design process involved big, medium, and small. And then the last but not least, we have a kind of creative expression of a, like a strange little, a strange little house shape, right? Like I, I always thought it would be fun to do like a forest of these, you know, a forest of strange little house shapes. I thought would make a cool drawing. Okay, thanks.